Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be explaining why the square of virtual numbers and any higher powers of them are zero. It's a fascinating concept, and I'm sure you'll find it easy to understand. Let's get started. To begin, let's take a look at the product of two logarithms. Imagine we have two logarithms, log of A and log of B. First, let's figure out what happens when we multiply them. We know that the logarithm of the product of A and B is equal to the sum of the logarithms of A and B. So, log of AB equals log of A plus log of B. Similarly, the logarithm of A divided by B is equal to the logarithm of A minus the logarithm of B. So, log of A divided by B equals log of A minus log of B. Now, if we look at the logarithm of B divided by A, we see that it is equal to the logarithm of B minus the logarithm of A. So, log of B divided by A equals minus log of A plus log of B. Next, let's add these equations together. First, if we add log of AB and log of A divided by B, we get 2 log of A. Then, if we add log of AB and log of B divided by A, we get 2 log of B. Now, let's multiply the results. When we multiply the two equations, we get the product of log of A and log of B. Specifically, we get that the product of log of A and log of B is equal to the product of log of AB plus log of A divided by B and log of AB plus log of B divided by A divided by 4. Now comes the interesting part. Let's substitute A equals B equals negative 1 into the equation. When we do that, we get the result that the square of log of A is equal to the square of log of A squared divided by 4. Next, let's set A equals negative 1. We now get log of negative 1 squared equals log of negative 1 squared squared divided by 4, which simplifies to 0. This shows us that j squared equals 0. And since j squared equals 0, when we multiply j squared by j, we get 0. So, j cubed is also 0. This means that all higher powers of j will also be 0. No matter what power of j you raise, the result will always be 0 beyond j itself. Finally, let's take a look at the exponential function. The exponential function e raised to the power of x can be expanded as 1 plus x plus x squared divided by 2 factorial plus x cubed divided by 3 factorial, and so on. Now, if we replace x with j, we get e raised to the power of j equals 1 plus j plus 0 plus 0 plus. So, e raised to the power of j simplifies to 1 plus j. And that's it. We've shown that the square of virtual numbers is 0, and all higher powers of j will also be 0. This is a unique property of virtual numbers that makes them quite interesting to work with. Thanks for watching.